All right, so we are back at work on the Forerunner. So since the last time you guys seen it, you guys saw me have uh, just a single coat of Pour 15 on this frame. I have since made as much room as I could in this tiny little shop. That's a pile of Forerunner parts there. And uh, I mean, I brought the frame inside. And then once I got the frame actually inside here, I gave it a final coat with this trim clad stuff instead of Pour 15. Reason being, Pour 15 hates being in daylight. It actually ruins the paint and this stuff is is about half the price and is also a rust paint as well. So there it is, looks nice and shiny. And now I've gotten pretty much as far as I'm going to get on the restoration of this frame. And it's time to start taking what is good from the other frame, like the gas tank and power steering rack and all that, and start moving on to this chassis. Brought to you in part by Alpine Toyota. The gas tank actually is in really good shape. So I've sanded it down a bit and I'm just gonna give it a quick splash of paint here. Just some spray can stuff. Make it look pretty again. Check it out, brand new lower and upper control arms just showed up for the Forerunner. Let's toss them in. All right, now that she's got brand new control arms in it, I'm gonna toss the spindles in. And don't worry, these are not the final spindles I'm gonna use. I'm not gonna reuse ball joints. I've got brand new ball joints, everything ready to go. It's just not on this setup. So temporarily, I'm gonna take all this old stuff and bolt it up in here, and then the frame will be mobile again. All right, the frame is officially out of the shop. And I think I'm just gonna wheel it right under the Forerunner and drop the Forerunner back down on it just so that the Forerunner isn't just sitting there in my yard on oil drums anymore. There's no reason I can't put it back on there. I don't have the body mount kit yet or the new struts for the front yet. It's just not in. So I'm gonna assemble it temporarily. I'm just gonna rest the body on the frame. I might try to put something in between so it's not just hard resting on there, I guess, without mounts. But uh, yeah, this is an exciting uh, airplane. Yeah, I think this is a pretty exciting moment, finally. I mean, finally, it's been a few weeks. <laughs> Uniting the body with the frame.
so now that the 4Runner is back on the frame-ish, it's uh, time to move over to the bodywork side of this. And uh, I'm going to start with the tailgate. So as you can see here, the tailgate has had a poor repair at one point in time. Um, I removed this back panel and discovered that rust sandwich goes up a fair bit further. I'm going to cut this whole section out and try to make a new piece of sheet metal to weld in here. A lot more flush and a lot more pretty and uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, now that this guy's cut out, I just need to remake this in a new piece of sheet metal. Check this out. So just by bending it by hand here, this little piece, I managed to get, uh, this is really hard to do one-handed, managed to get this body line nearly perfect. So I'm gonna tack this guy in and then I'll need to probably add a little bit more of a filler piece up here because I didn't quite cut this guy long enough. I didn't account for the bend, uh, changing the actual length of this piece. You know, considering that I made this patch, just kind of bending it by hand, I'm pretty stoked of how that turned out. Um, obviously, like, it's not perfect, and I am in no way, shape, or form a body guy. I'm not even a mechanic, for crying out loud. I'm just gonna use body filler and kind of fill the inside here and inside here where the bend isn't quite perfect. And then smooth it over, and that's really all the rust repair that had to be done on this tailgate. It's in good shape. All right, the tailgate is officially fixed. I don't have the paint yet uh, to actually sand it down and paint the thing, but I've got other news. My original plan for doors was to use the original doors that actually came off this 4Runner. They're actually in really good shape. There's no rust, no dents, no nothing like that. But I acquired a full set of limited doors. So I guess now the plan is to do kind of a limited model conversion on this thing. And the reason I'd want to go with a limited conversion is tire coverage. I want to do 35 by 12 and a half tires and I know they're going to stick out. So I figured the best way of dealing with that is to use factory fender flares. However, the original doors are actually in better shape and I'm pretty sure these flares actually clip into the door. I'm pretty sure there's holes in these doors. So I might try to transfer these holes or try to figure out where these holes are and drill them in the original doors and just move these flares over. Um, just because, yeah, it dented up here on this door, down by the hinges, it's completely... Might be hard to see on camera there, but there's a dent. I think the other two doors are fine. Oh, the door frame a little bit there is bent, but yeah. Oh, and down there. So we'll see about that. There we go. 
All right, well, now it's time to make a decision. Unfortunately, this is a little bit more involved than I was expecting. I was hoping it'd only be like a few clips and then the rest would be like 3M adhesive tape on there. But no, there is six clips on the bottom. So six holes here. And not only that, there is a bracket that I didn't realize was there that then gets bolted to this door. So I need to drill one, two, three, four more holes there. On top of that, there's three more clips. So another three holes. So what, like a dozen holes would need to be drilled in this door or in our doors which are meant by the way in the exact right spot to be able to bolt up these fender flares I'm not sure I want to do it. Um, our doors are in extremely good shape. The easiest way of doing this limited conversion would be to just straight up use these doors but they're not in good shape. So I'm kind of maybe changing my mind here. There is models of these forerunners that have fender flares that just sit on the front and rear fenders and don't have the side trim. So maybe I'll try to find those and maybe they don't clip on the same. I'm not too sure. But as I said, those doors are immaculate. So I think, I think I'm changing my mind. Which at the end of the day isn't a big deal. I picked up these doors for free. So changing my mind on it isn't really costing us anything. What do you think, Phoenix? What door should we go with? No, not those ones. All right, so I ordered paint this morning, and guess what? They made it stupid quick. This is 6V7 Army Green. This is the same green color that you'll see on the newer Forerunners and newer Tundras. I think Tacoma's got it, and that same color is what this thing's now gonna be. So it's still gonna be green, just a different green. And because I got the paint and the tailgate is practically ready for paint, I kinda wanna see what it looks like. So I think I'm gonna switch focus, paint the tailgate with uh, the paint that I have here, or, and we'll get a good look at what this paint color is gonna be like. I am extremely happy with this paint job. So after laying down those couple of coats last night, I did end up giving it two coats of this Duplicolor clear coat as well. And that gave it a whole bunch of shine and kind of leveled it all out. And man, that looks awesome. Now on this project, there is a reason I decided to go with green. And that is because it's already green. <laughs> And uh, this would allow me to do a couple of things. A, well, primarily not do a 100% paint job. For example, the engine bay in this thing looks awesome. And I don't see any reason why um, I should take everything out of it and paint it. I still might undecided on that. But the main reason is the windshield. The windshield's beautiful on this thing and I don't want to have to take that out or the rear windows out and uh, get them reset up at a glass shop. Uh, the window frame itself is not rotten so I don't need to worry about doing any bodywork or nothing in there so I should be able to just mask off these windows and paint it. And because it's green underneath it'll mostly blend. The color is similar but uh, the new army green color is a lot better. Hey guys, thank you for watching this week's episode of Dirt Garage. I really appreciate it. We got so much done over the course of the last like month on this thing, which is pretty much all of the progress that you saw <laughs> in this video. And yeah, obviously there is still so much to do. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for all the future updates on this Forerunner, because uh, I think it's gonna be awesome. Also, if you don't mind, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. That would be greatly appreciated. And with all that said, I'll see you guys next week. Yeah, let's go. I'ma make a couple stacks, do exactly what I want to. Mix a couple tracks, get a lady that I'm drawn to. Turn up to the max, get me faded till I'm gone, dude. I do what I want, couldn't stop me if you wanted to. I just work hard, yeah, harder than the rest. Some people say I'm lucky, others saying that I'm